today I'm going to show you how to initialize a sharded MongoDB cluster using a schema manager. So let's start. Here you can see that uh, I have already applied the MongoDB database server and a vault server. Uh, if you uh, don't know about the vault server, about the key vault is, uh, this is actually a credential creation management tool uh, so that, uh, so that uh, the credential management will be easy and secure if we using this. If you want to uh, know about, uh, know more about the uh, cube world, you can uh, check out the description. I have uh, given a link there. Also, you can uh, you can see the some other videos from mine. So let's uh, first uh, see the YML that have been applied. This is the YML I have applied. This is the MongoDB YML. Here, uh, this is the allowed schema field. This uh, this field actually uh, saying that only uh, if your namespace has this level, which is under namespace, if your namespace has this level, that namespace will be allowed to contain some schema manager to actually use our database server. We are using 4.4.6 version. And uh, as you have already uh, know that this is a shard cluster, it has uh, three fields. It has to be three fields, which are config server, mongoose, and shard. So in config server, uh, there are two replicas. And this is the port template of the config server. And this is the storage, which is pretty standard. Uh, the storage, storage class is standard, and the CPU is 100 amp. As uh, same as uh, config server, Mongoose has two replicas and a port template. And shard, uh, the shard has uh, two replicas, and we have two shards in the MongoDB uh, cluster. And this is the storage spec and the port template. And we have uh, set the termination policy to whip out so that uh, it, it deletes all the PVCs it has created. And this is the vault uh, YML we uh, we have applied already. The version we are using 1.9.2. It is three replicas, and uh, the secret engines are allowed from all namespace. All the MongoDB uh, secret engines from all namespace. And this is the ancillary option. We are using Kubernetes secret. The raft uh, raft as a backend. As the auth methods, we are using Kubernetes and uh, Prometheus as the modern tool. We have also uh, set the whip out uh, termination policy here. So, as we are going to uh, initialize, let's uh, first show the current database situation. So, let's exit into this the Mongols. We are using the root credential here. This is the root credential. Okay, we are in. So the DBs. There you can see that there are only three DBs admin, config, and kubedb system. Three DBs only. So after initializing, we should uh, see another DB here. So let's uh, show the YML where we're going to apply now. This is the schema YML. Here, uh, the schema in the schema YML, we're uh, going to apply the script, and that will be initialized. So this one. Okay. Here you can see that the database ref is MongoDB, which is all, already I have shown there. This is the MongoDB database we are referring to. And the vault server is vault, which I have already shown. And the database we are going to create is named MyDB. So after applying this, we should uh, see another DB named MyDB. These are the access policies. So here is the service account reference. This default TTL uh, time is set to 40 minutes. 
and uh, this is referring uh, that when the vault server uh, vault server created secret will be expired after 14 minutes and the deletion policy is set to delete and in the init script we are referring to a config map here uh, the database commands will be there and this uh, that will be uh, mounted inside etc config in the c manager form and this is this is the port template very simple port template, port template you will see so let's see uh, what this config map contains okay same this is the config map here you can see there's some uh, easy database commands there we are using mydb and we are uh, going to insert some data on it so let's first apply the config map Okay, the config map has been created and now we are going to apply the schema itself the schema is in progress you can see uh, it, it should be uh, current okay now this is time so the vault should be uh, created a secret there let's get that this is the secret which you can uh, get that from status of secret name in the mongodb database so let's get the secret so these are the credentials what has been created so we using these credentials we are uh, we will now exit into the database let's see exit okay now we will use these credentials for authentication. Uh, password is this one, and authentication database is this one, MyDB. So here we are inside the Mongoose. Now, if we show the DB is there, you can see that MyDB is there. And why this might be because uh, we have already uh, shown that the config map actually uh, using this might be and inserting some data and the vault has been created uh, these secrets uh, for my DB. So if we show the collection here, first use this my DB. Show the collection. Okay, let's say that mistake. TV dot people dot find. Okay, that's the data we have uh, shown. First thing, this one, exactly this one. And uh, we have already shown that uh, there should be a database here. So now, if we run command show database, here you can see the MongoDB database. And uh, the special uh, thing is. Uh, if you use show db here you can only see the my db because we you, you have authenticate using this secret the vault created secret which is applied only for my db and uh, here you have uh, authenticated using uh, the root credentials so that's it uh, from me thanks for watching